Silent Scream. Okay, the research section of Silent Scream uh, was much easier for me to do because I'd set it on a film unit and the victim was a famous actress. So I took a lot of my own history and um, background for uh, help writing about the film unit, who was interviewed, who was questioned, and also that um, I spent time at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art myself, so I knew all the students. Um, and um, it's, it's, a, it's a very, very sad um, murder inquiry because it focuses on a movie star, probably if Amanda Delaney had lived, she was heading that way to being Keira Knightley. Very beautiful, as if she had everything going for her, when in actual fact she had nothing at all. She was skin and bone, anorexic, self-harmer, addicted to drugs, addicted to sex, because the amount of pain she had gone through in her life um, is that, that she was an abused child, um, never got over it. Her parents never cushioned or helped her because the abuser was a grandfather. All her mother could say was, oh, well, he abused me, so get over it. So the dysfunction inside that family is uh, wretched, really. And who killed her? Why did they kill her? And it evolves to be able to write the novel freely and um, then go into writing the film script. Everything that's on the surface that you think is normal is not normal. And in Silent Scream, it goes deeper and deeper and deeper until the conclusion is so sad. Probably the only person who ever loved this little girl is the killer.